Thank you for joining me again for day 19 of the readings from Carmen's Legacy. And these, of course, are just the short little readings. However, I know that you're enjoying them because of the views that we're getting, which is sensational. And we only have six days till Christmas Day. Please be careful, everyone on the roads. This is chapter 11, simply called 10 years, because it was 10 years since this day when we buried Carmen, when our girls and their cousins carried Carmen to her final resting place. Chapter 11, 10 years. It was Friday the 18th of November 2005 and it was the 10th anniversary of Carmen's death in her car crash. A lot had happened in those 10 years. Our three girls were all married, Michelle to Tony, Katrina to Simon and Jasmine to Mark. We had sold our beloved house in Longley and moved to Ballarat to be closer to our kids and grandkids plus our extended families. We had six amazing grandchildren and it seemed as though our lives revolved around them. We would often be the designated school pickup. We would take them to their various sports trainings and invariably we would stay and watch them train. Then, of course, we would take them to their respective homes. We were living the perfect life with our families living the dream. Carmen's death was still traumatic. It was painful to think that it was on this day, 10 short years earlier, we had lost our beautiful Carmen and our lives had been shattered and irreversibly changed forever. Where have those 10 years gone? How is it that the years go by so quickly but the days without Carmen seem so long. I had telephoned my mum the day before to see how she was and she asked me if I was calling her because it was Carmen's anniversary. Mum was a day early, but after 10 years, what's in a day? It was profound that mum should make her comment because it magnified the ongoing pain that Carmen's death had brought to everyone. At 78 years of age, my mum shouldn't have had to remember the anniversary of the death of her granddaughter. She should still have been celebrating Carmen's life. So there's mum and dad with Carmen at Carmen's dead. There's Ange and myself with Carmen. And I took this photo of Carmen when I was teaching her to drive. Back to the reading. Early that morning, Ange and I made our way to Carmen's tree. We were there at 8am, in readiness for our remembrance of Carmen's 8.08am crash, 10 years earlier. We had not done this for six years, but today was the 10th anniversary. It was special. As at all previous visits, Ange and I held hands, said some prayers for Carmen, and placed flowers and a couple of angels at the base of the tree. We remembered and we mourned the loss of our beautiful little girl. Poor Carmen. On this anniversary, I had decided that everyone should get together to celebrate Carmen. I had designed a 10 year anniversary invitation and had tracked down so many people, many of them Carmen's school friends and we were anticipating a truly memorable day. We had booked a function room at a hotel in Bendigo, and I knew that it would be a great opportunity for us to reconnect and remember. I also had a little surprise organized for everyone. I had spent the month prior collating video footage and photos of Carmen, and I had put them all on a DVD. I had a copy for everyone. Of course, Carmen's favourite music played throughout the DVD, which proved to be a huge hit. And in the, this photo is Michelle, Katrina, Jasmine and Carmen, 
And there's Carmen sitting back there, keeping her eye on her best friends. And I think that's pretty appropriate because she's still doing that, I know. Thank you again for joining us. And I look forward to reading some more for you tomorrow.